Huh. Hey guys, Dane from Joni Guitar here, and uh, I'm just uh, let's do a little bit of an unboxing. I've already um, I've already actually taken it out of the box, so I ordered a. Uh, a fret bender and some stainless wire and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just take you down to the bench show you that and um, then I'll just I'm actually going to try to just hand hold it and bend some wire it looks like I could do that with it it's uh, it looks like a pretty nice little bender actually um, so that's uh, yeah let's do that uh, here we go let's use my my colorful uh, maple burl as a backdrop here. Oh, I need something to cut these frets out with. Anyway, okay, and, well, cut them loose. So, um, I, uh, I took, I'm drawing a blank. I took Ken uh, Boudreaux's uh, recommendation or just one of the benders that he showed on on some of his videos. And I went to uh, Luthier, Philadelphia Luthier Supply and, uh, and I ordered not only the fret bender, but I found the stainless steel wire I was looking for. And um, it was seven something a stick, two foot length. And it was 12 or 13 at Stu Mac. So that was a no brainer. Uh, this is the, um, the uh, Jezcar um, uh, wire. I may be saying that wrong. I don't know why it seems like I always forget the correct name for that when I'm on the on the camera. Uh, anyway, all right. So the uh, the bender uh, needs a little assembly, some assembly required. So it looks like they've got a uh, a handle and a and my hands right in the way, a handle and an Allen wrench supplied. So uh, well. Yeah, they got an Allen wrench supply, but it's not the right size Allen wrench. Let's see why they supplied me with an Allen. Oh, well, it fits the it fits the Allen head, the uh, button head Allen on the or uh, hex key for you folks on the the other side of the world. Um, we call these Allen wrenches, and we call these Allen headed screws. Um, button button head for the ones that are rounded slightly and uh, you know, I don't remember what this just the regular square head is called or flat flattened off Allen head anyway I don't know but uh, hex keys let me see I got some right here um, see if this is there we go it's actually a little loose. Must be a metric Allen or hex key. I'm going to get it mostly there. Then I'm going to go get a metric so it fits right before I try to snug it down. Right back. Send me in just a fuzz. As promised, um, got the right size Allen. It's a um, Five millimeter, by the way, for those of you who care about that sort of thing. And I picked up some nippers while I was over. I'm zoom out now. Picked up some nippers. Oh, so they also supplied me with some screws to screw the thing to the bench, um, right there. And like I said, they supplied an Allen. I guess for the other the other deal, I also supplied me from Luthier Supply there, Philadelphia. Um, I don't, it looked upside down for a second. Oh, I know why. My viewfinder is actually upside down because of the angle I have the camera at. Um, and then also some, a uh, couple picks. Uh, I don't typically use these sorts of things because I like the ones that have a little texture on them. I've been dropping my picks a lot lately might have something to do with my um, my crappy hands or my fingers are too dry or something I can't feel them 
and they fall out. Um, just snipping the the little thing. I notice uh, when I deal directly with uh, Jazzcar or Jazzcar. You know what? This is written down here somewhere. Jazzcar. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Jazzcar. I use your Evo frets and I uh, use uh, your Martin wire with the different size tangs. I'm talking directly to Joe's car now. I'm sorry I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, so anytime I buy, buy fret wire from them, they always come tied up like that, uh, clamped together. So I don't know if these ship directly from, from Joe's car. Uh, three luthier, uh, Philadelphia luthier supply or what. So here's what I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm refretting this neck, and once I get to actually refretting this neck, I pulled one fret out, of course, just to find out what size wire I needed. It is standard, standard slot. Um, so I'm doing a refret on this, but uh, I'm just going to check this bender and see. if I can just hold on to it and, and do it. I'm going to loosen it up just a fuzz because they say it's an unbender as well, but I don't want to go to whatever whatever I have to do to make it an unbender. I think that's what this extra little hole is about over here. And it didn't come with any sorts of instructions. It just says it is one. So I'm going to loosen that up. Loosen that wheel up a little bit. There we go. It's because I don't want to... Uh, that's doing nothing. Okay, so take a little bit then. The one, the one, um, the one warning I heard with this tool was that it actually every very little adjustment really makes a difference on how much the wire bends, and I don't want to overbend this. Like I said, okay, so I'm just hand holding it, and I am indeed getting some some mark on the wire. As you can you can tell, no doubt tell. And I'm just gonna check it against the existing board and see what we got. See so what now stainless, they say, and I'll probably reiterate this when I'm actually doing this fretting video. Stainless you want to bend to match the radius of the board. Uh, with standard fret wire, um, you know, we overbend because it's okay to overbend on regular wire because it doesn't have that pop back kind of oops, kind of strength that the that the stainless exhibits apparently. I should probably bolt this thing down, but I don't want to do that right now. I gotta tell you, uh, I should actually show you the old one that I made years ago and been using. Cause that's that's pretty sweet with the handle. I never put a handle on mine. And okay, well, that's just a quick uh, quick um, what do you want to call it? Assembly. <laughs> Screw the handle on, and um, and test run of this bender, and it's fabulous. And I'm already to the point here uh, where I look like I've got. You can't see that. But uh, this wire is really fit, fitting the radius of the board really well. The only place it's not is like right at the very edge where you always get that little rollover. And, uh, and so I want to get the frets out, sand that board, and um, before I, I do any more fret bending to make sure that I'm, I'm where I need to be with the board after it's, after it's prepped for this. So that's it. I just wanted to show you the new fret bender. The, uh, the stainless steel wire from Philadelphia Luthier Supply. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not. I'm not doing an advertisement. This, you know, I just paid for this like anybody else would. They don't even know I'm doing it. So it's not a. Uh, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just think this is slick, though. I just. I mean, this is the first time I've used it. You saw that. That is really smooth. So yeah, digging that. All right, guys. Take care. See you later. Go make some dust.